All right, so let's quickly learn how to link our CSS file with our HTML file. So this is an HTML file. <coughs> so inside it, don't mind this meta meta routine. So I generated it automatically. Okay, let me quickly tell you how to do that. So I have to delete this now. So when you, this is uh, an HTML file. So you come here also and create a new file. So we are, we are going to name this one style.css. So now it is saved. So now we have two files. This one for HTML, foursquare.html, then style.css. So now, on our foursquare.html, we need to write uh, some first. So to to save our time, just type HTML, then come to HTML5, and enter. So it's going to generate all of this for you. But among God is what we actually need today. So this one is showing <coughs> document as our title. We can just change it to CSS class. I'm coming. So I can just save this one to CSS class. So CSS class. So then now to link our CSS to link our file now, our CSS file with this one, we come here and what we need is link. So just type link, then enter. So it's going to generate all of this for you, but just for you to know it, the relationship between that link we want to use now, this one is style sheet. It's a style sheet, then the hypertext reference, that is where we're going to put the address of the style sheet. So for this case, we have just style dot CSS. Okay, so now now we have linked our CSS with our HTML, but we need to confirm if we have actually achieved that. Okay, so let's come to body and then put something here. L let's say H1, so we can say um, CSS class, or let's say this is CSS class. So this is CSS class, then let me save it and let's view it in browser. Okay. All right. So this is CSS class. All right. Let's come back here now and see if our style sheets will now start having effect. So under style sheets to style other CSS. Uh, we are going to just name the element. Which element do we want to start? It's H1. So H1 element. Then there is something we call curly brace. That's what we'll be using. So that's our curly brace. So immediately you type the first one. This, immediately you type this first one. The second one is going to come in. So let's enter it. Then let's talk about color color all right so which color should we choose anyone at all so let's choose this one and then save it okay let's come back to our browser let's. wow can you see it now so it's it's now effective yes so it has affected it if we change the color to something else, it's still going to. Okay. Let's say red. Okay. Control S, then let's come to our browser and then refresh it. So it's that simple. Try your own and let me start seeing your screenshots. 
All right, thank you. See you in the next class. Bye.